Welcome to the Canoga Park Youth Arts Center's new series, Seeing and Drawing, with me, Miss Donna, where all you really need is a pencil, an eraser, and a piece of paper. Today we are going to be doing a landscape. Now a landscape is a picture of anything outside. Landscape. Now, it doesn't matter where it is. If it's outside, it's a landscape. Landscapes are normally this way, but our landscape today is going to go this way. This is called horizontal or landscape. This is called vertical or portrait style. So that's where our paper is going to be, the direction our paper is headed. So now I've seen a lot of kids' drawings of, of places outside, and they're always a beautiful day. It's always a bright sun in the sky, maybe a cloud or two. Everything's beautiful. There's never any weather. Weather is our first word of the day. Weather is a simpler word than atmosphere. That's a long word, isn't it? Atmosphere. That just means what it's doing outside. Is it raining? Is it snowing? Is the wind blowing? Is it really dry out? So no one ever puts those things in the drawings. So today, we are going to make a rainy day landscape. There you go. And even though you can't see the rain, you can see the landscape. Now, what's this guy? That's called an umbrella, right? We use it to keep dry. It's a wonderful invention. You can walk outside in the rain. Did you know that in Korea and Japan, people feed stray cats because it's lucky. If they feed them, they have good luck. So in Japan, they have very, in Korea, they have a very unusual custom. They have a different use for an umbrella than we do. Here's our umbrella. And you'll never guess what's going to go under it. Meow. There are so many homeless cats in Korea and Japan. See, look how cozy it is under here. So all around Japan and Korea, you're going to see umbrellas like this for the cats to hang out in. Very cool. But this is not the way we use the umbrella, is it? No. When we use an umbrella, we put it over our shoulder like this. That way it keeps the rain from coming down on us. So, are we ready to make a picture of a rainy day? Let's get Kitty Kitty out of the way. And we'll begin. All right. So, remember how I used to tell you about basic shapes? Well, our umbrella is half of a circle. So to make our umbrella, we're going to start with the umbrella. I'm going to make a circle. But I'm only using half of that circle. The top half of it, like this. And now we're going to do a bunch of these frown, frown, frown. That's the little things on the umbrella. They go up like this. Okay. And there's a little point up there sometimes. So here's our umbrella. Our umbrella is done. Now the next thing we're going to do is the raincoat that our person is wearing. Now it's really more of like a triangle, a tall triangle. Remember how I said basic shapes? Everything is basic shapes. So we have a half a circle. Now we have a triangle. Your triangle, we're going to round it around a little bit on the bottom. This is our raincoat, but she needs an arm, and that's really easy. All that is is a V, a V as in a victorious artist. So here's her arm, okay? All right, we're going to leave her face till later. Let's give her a couple of legs now, all right? Legs are easy. Legs are two rectangles. You guys know how to draw rectangles? I know you do. All right, now we gotta draw the boots. Boots are easy too. It's a rectangle and a triangle. Now this time the triangle's going this way, not that way. Let's put our second boot in. Boots can sometimes be a little bit bigger than the leg is. And now let's put in our triangle bottom. All right, we're getting there, aren't we? So now let's put our face in and we're only gonna see the side of a face. That's another word for that is the profile. Here's her forehead. There's her nose. Here's her smile. Yep. There's her chin. It goes up like this. Here's her eye. Like that. Her smile looks kind of funny. 
let's erase some of that smile. That's too much of a smile. And then we'll give her some hair coming down here, some hair coming down there. All right, now the umbrella, right? So the umbrella has a stick on it that we hold on to. Now our hand here, of course, it's going around the stick. So it's just like this, just like a bump, right? And then the thumb, it goes underneath like that. The rest of the stick comes out like this, and then we have a little hook on it. All right. Now our person's in place. We need the landscape. Our person is walking on a sidewalk. So we're going to put them on a sidewalk. Now one way that I can show this is a sidewalk and not a fence is through perspective. And in perspective, the lines and the cracks of the sidewalk would go like this. If they went down like that, that looks like a fence. It does not look like a piece of concrete laying flat on the ground. All right, now here comes the most important line, most important line, it's called the horizon line. That is our second word of the day, horizon line. This is the line that divides the sky from the land. And it's never, ever, ever on the bottom of the page. Okay, there's a horizon line. And like last time, I like to put a couple bushes in here just to make it a little bit more interesting so there's something beyond that. Now, if you wanted to, you could put flowers in here. You could put bugs crawling around, animals running around. But, oh, we are missing one thing, though, our cloud with our sun because it's rainy. So you may not know this, but you can check it, and you'll see I'm right. Clouds are almost always flat on the bottom. They're poofy on the top, but they're flat on the bottom. And that's because, and here comes our word again, atmosphere. There's heat coming up from the planet here. And it's, the atmosphere is flattening out the bottoms of the clouds, but the tops of the clouds are still fluffy. I'm going to have my sun hidden by the cloud, overlapped. That means my cloud is in front of my sun, so it makes it look more 3D. And I think we have all the components except one thing, of course, what the whole class is about today, pattern. So let's take a look at what we've got here. These polka dots, those are a pattern, aren't they? Here's my zigzaggy line, that's a pattern. Here's a wavy line, that's a pattern. And look at the stripes on my umbrella. If you wanted to, you could paint or color those, each a different color of the rainbow. Now you can put patterns everywhere. You just don't have to put patterns there. You can put patterns on the grass. You can put patterns on the trees. You can put patterns in the sky. So here's our basic line drawing that we're all done with now. And this is cool, we like it but there's other things we can do with this. So, on this one here, I added some color. Obviously, I added some color. And I also added collage paper. Now, you probably have a bunch of wrapping paper laying around your house. This stuff is really good to use. So you can tell, my rain jacket is a piece of wrapping paper. So are my boots, so are my, my pants. And I even used some wrapping paper for my trees. Now in this one, I outlined everything in a black oil pastel. Sometimes that looks kind of cool. So I only used a black oil pastel. And do you see all my rain? Maybe you remember the magic trick from last time. If we use crayons or oil pastel and draw the rain, we can paint right over it and it will show right through. Now remember, rain isn't just a bunch of lines going every direction. Rain is coming from the sky. It's being blown by the wind. It's all going in one direction. It can either come all straight down, or see how mine kind of goes at an angle? But you can't have some of it going this way, some of it going that way, some of it going this way, because that's how the rain, rain works. Another one I did, I like this one too. Now, here's another one. And this one is only oil pastel that I outlined everything with, and then I painted it. But I want to tell you a, a trick we got going on here. The farther things are away from you, atmosphere makes things foggy or lighter. Do you see how light the sky is? Because the sky is light, it looks like it's really far away. And because this is bright, it looks closer to you. These are the tricks that you can use to make your drawings look more 3D. Now, I, I added some flowers on this one, as you can see. If your rain doesn't look 
rainy enough, you can always go back in with a crayon and make it rainy. Hey, what color is water? No, it's not blue. It's clear. It only looks blue because the sky is reflecting on it. So, let's see. Today we learned how to make a landscape. We used a vertical piece of paper. And we learned how to draw a person using really basic shapes. And what were those three words for our day today? I believe one of them was weather. Another one was horizon line. I have to look at my notes. <gasps> the most important one of all, pattern. So when you go through the world, look at these things. Look to see if you can, where you can see pattern. It's everywhere. And think of things that fun that you might want to draw. What kind of weather do you want to paint? A tornado, maybe? Have fun. As always, that's the most important part. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you again next time for Seeing and Drawing with me, Miss Donna. Bye-bye. <laughs>